For most high school teams, making the state tournament is great. Make it twice in a row and boy, you've really got something special. But for the Bemidji boys soccer team, this year they're not just satisfied with another section title. Last year the team lost in overtime in the state quarterfinals. Two years ago they fell in the same round in penalty kicks. This year they're hungry and ready for more. We don't want to settle at just a section victory. I feel like for us that, that doesn't feel like much anymore. If we win sections we want to go far in state, otherwise it's, it's almost not worth it anymore. This year going into it we really feel like uh, we improve that we belong there and we want to get past that game. But getting there won't be an easy feat as numerous challengers await, especially with the target planted firmly on the Lumberjacks' backs. We realize that for a lot of teams, they look at that schedule and they see Bemidji coming to town or, you know, they're heading up here. And, and uh, yeah, we, we realize that we're going to have to be on our A game in those games to, to be able to take care of business. Last year we ranked fifth in the state. Before that we ranked third. So, I mean, there's been a target on us for a while, but we don't sweat the stress. They'll be led by their two top returning goal scorers, Silas and Ben Hess, who use their twin superpowers for good and not evil. It helps sometimes. It kind of seems like we know where each other are going when before uh, they even know where they're going. There is an innate thing there that just, you know, as coaches we just step back and, and kind of let them roll. You can expect a similar style of play for Bemidji this year as in the past. Fluid, fast, reliant on passing, otherwise known as tiki-taka. Which is like one-two touch and like just play how you feel and just have fun on the pitch while you're playing. Definitely want to counterattack very well this year and transition through the middle of the field all the way up to the top. We're going to be flexible enough to where we can we can run multiple formations if we need to, depending on the opponent and the situation. And the first opponent and situation for the Lumberjacks this season is next Thursday when they take on Walker Hackensack Akeley, Cass Lake Bina on the road. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.